We just got a bunch of information about Season 3 Reloaded, and it looks like we're moving in the right direction for the most part. Before we get into what's coming, uh, there was a little update today that added in Shoe House 24-7, a place that we haven't seen in a while. And it looks like you could now get 12 trophies just from normal 6v6 games or multiplayer. Uh, before, you could only get 12 trophies in like plunder and war zone type modes. And with there only being like a little bit more time to get these trophies done, this is a welcome addition. Even though the rewards kind of suck, but uh, I've been hell bent on trying to get that uh trophy master calling card i've been grinding for the last few days and uh, i'm only about like halfway there but with the season three reloaded update we're getting a new raid uh we've been getting one of those like every other season or every other like update so like each reloaded update i don't know it, it seems like they're they're pretty decently spaced out and they are pretty fun when they come out so that's a welcome addition and we're getting another 66 map which is the albertson hatchery i'm definitely saying that wrong but it's uh if you guys played the campaign, it's from the mission where you're kind of laying down with a ghillie suit in the grass and moving towards like a, a compound type thing. So I'm curious to see how that plays because recently the 6v6 maps they've been adding are a little big for my taste. Even though they look pretty good visually, uh, it, they don't really play very well in my opinion. So hopefully this is the, the map that they add to kind of break that mold and, you know, give us something a little more faster pace. And also, I'm using the Cronin Squall. Uh, they just recently fixed the camo challenges, at least for some people. I've been seeing other people say that uh, they're still having issues getting it to track headshots. But mine was fixed, and now I'm testing to see if they fixed the weapon mastery on it. So I'm rocking gold on it for now. And something that I've been banging on the table for for the last however long this game's been out is they're actually adding in 3v3 face-off. Uh, before, in Cold War, like the last time we've seen it, uh, it was 6v6 on all the gunfight maps, but it looks like it's only 3v3 for this one, which is fine. I... I hope it's gonna be like uh how cold wars face off was where there's like no kill streaks and it's just you know constant 3v3 in all types of modes mainly like uh i don't know just tdm would be fine i, I actually can't remember if there was multiple modes for face off or if face off was just you know killing each other but face off was my go-to mode for grinding up like weapon camos xp or just trying to like have fun so i'm glad to see it make a return even if it's 3v3 maybe they'll up it to 6v6 you know, at some point, but a man can dream. And another thing I was really excited about when this was announced at the beginning of the season is we're actually getting giant infection, which is basically ground war infection. Uh, when that came out in Modern Warfare 2019, I had so much fun with that. I didn't play it like a whole lot and it was removed shortly thereafter. But when I did play it, it was just a, a blast. It, it was like a fun, goofy mode that you can just hop into. Uh, you don't really have to take too seriously. And it's just like when you're one of the survivors, like late in the game and you have like 20 infected running at you, it, it gives me like Halo infected vibes. And I'm glad to see them add in some more like non just traditional multiplayer modes. Like I, I like these fun party type modes. And Warzone's getting a few updates. They're adding in some new perk packages. I don't really know what that means. Maybe we'll be able to customize our own now or or if they'll just add in like different variants of the default ones. And then they're also adding deployable buy stations. Uh, I don't play a whole lot of Warzone, but I do know that buy stations are a huge issue that they're either very, very spaced out to where like they're all not gonna be in the circle or there's just gonna be a bunch right next to each other. Like the, the buy station placements are, are a little uh, lackluster. So this might address that. I, I don't really know how they're going to work or if they're going to have everything available in the buy station or you can only get like certain things from it. But I guess time will tell. It also says something about a gulag entry kit. And I'm not really sure what that is. And I really hope it's not a bundle because we'll be getting to all the bundles and stuff they're adding later. But that that seems to be their priority for, you know, stuff they add into the game. And also, let me just say, this update is no way like, you know, that this is going to save the game. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. But it's definitely like stuff I've been asking for. And it's overall a step forward, but this game definitely needs like more for me to be like completely pleased with it. But, you know, I, I got to acknowledge when they do good things as well. I'm not just here to, you know, piss all over COD and talk shit on it and, and bitch and moan. But I do like complaining. And I will complain where I can. And it seems like they're adding in a new area to DMZ. It's called the, hold on, let me look at it. The Koshki Complex. I'm definitely saying that wrong. But it seems like a fun new area adding in. I hope it's not like Building 21. There was also some controversy with Building 21 the other day where they made it so only paid players can actually go to it. Like people that actually own Modern Warfare. Because DMZ is a free-to-play mode along with Warzone. There was like some issues with it. I think it was like an error. I don't know if it's actually like pay-to-play now, but 
I, I just saw that like, there was some controversy with it. So I thought I'd bring it up. Editing Joe here. Uh, I got caught on a tangent and forgot to say what I wanted to say. But I think this new area in DMZ shouldn't be like Building 21 in terms of it only being available on the weekends. It should just be a place on El Mazra that you can access with a key whenever. It doesn't matter the day of the week. And then we'll be officially getting Warzone ranked. Uh, they've been talking about this for a while. It was officially announced i think at the start of this season it looks like not a whole lot changes it's like vehicles are some vehicles are restricted and it looks like there'll be like no in match events like fire sales or like jailbreaks or anything like that which is if those are the only changes to to warzone they basically didn't do anything for warzone ranked it's basically the same mode, but at least it gives you something to kind of grind for. I hope the rewards are a lot better for Warzone ranked than they are for multiplayer ranked because the multiplayer ranked rewards aren't very good. And I'm going to be very upset if I need to get 100 Warzone wins to get a camo for Warzone because I know I'm going to try and I know I'm going to fail and I know the camo is not even going to be worth it, or at least, you know, the, the track record for ranked camo shows. Like if it's going to be anything like that, it's probably not going to be a very good camo. And I think like the ranked operators for it are going to be, you know, slightly different from uh, the multiplayer ranked ones, but they'll basically have the same model, just like a different color scheme, like in terms of how it shows up on the, the operator. And then for the bundles, they're adding in a Kevin Durant bundle, which seems like extremely out of place. I mean, we did have like Messi and Ronaldo earlier in the year, which I, it makes a little more sense because they at least they added in a mode with it, like their little Rocket League mode. So hopefully they add in some basketball type mode. I don't even know what they would do for that. But I hope it's not just like, oh yeah, we have, you know, uh, a partnership with Kevin Durant. So we're adding in an operator skin and that's where like it starts and ends. Because that would be lame. But uh, I'm not too psyched about that. Uh, they're also adding in like the classic sound bundle. Like the Modern Warfare 2 from 2009 sounds. It looks like a, we're getting like a Lockman, which is like the MP5 with like classic looking attachments and sounds. And then I think we're either getting uh, a classic soap or gas. Let me double check that. Yeah, it's classic soap. And it looks like there will be an assault rifle in there too called Good Old Days. So I don't know what exactly that's going to be, but going to be some sort of reference to Modern Warfare 2, the OG. And is weapon mastery tracking? does not look like it how does it happen how can both aspects of camos for this thing or masteries for this thing be busted and before i get too sidetracked as for like the 2009 like classic modern warfare 2 bundle coming out i think that should just be given to players like hey you know we, we know this game hasn't gone the way that a lot of people expected it to uh here's some old sounds and stuff to go with the namesake of this game because i'm pretty sure in cold war they had just like a setting where it's like you can turn on classic hit markers or you can change what the hit markers look like and sound like and that's like a bit of a far cry from like completely different weapon sounds and like a, a whole operator but it would just be nice to throw that in considering this is modern warfare 2 and we've gotten none of like the og modern warfare 2 content you know, outside of like maps being shown in the war zone map, but not being there for like 6v6. I'm still hoping one day that they just surprise us and they drop all those maps that are just in Al Mazra and throw them into 6v6. But it doesn't really seem like it's going to happen at this point. Hopefully, it, maybe in the next game, we'll, we'll get some of those maps. Crazy that we even have to like hope for that. Oh, and going back to those perk packages that I was talking about, apparently it's not new perk packages. It could be, but uh, it's not what I thought. It looks like that you can buy packages at deployable buy stations which i i don't know how that's gonna work oh did i hit that a fully flashed throwing knife he might dick dude and for the other bundles it seems like they're starting to test the water with how much they can charge for them or seeing like where the bars at where people will pay for them because they just added in like a tracer bundle which is like reactive or whatever you know something that was pretty standard in other games for like most bundles to have but they upped it to like 30 bucks when normally they're like 2,400 COD points. Now they're 3,000. And personally, I don't know if I'm going to buy any more bundles for this game. It's kind of turned me off to the fact that, you know, that's what they prioritize putting content in. I know it's two separate teams, like the people that are making multiplayer maps and weapons and things like that aren't the same, like designers that are going in and making operator skins and weapon blueprints like it's two different teams but it seems like that's prioritized over the other like it seems like uh a lot of our updates and content updates and you know news coming from cod is just them putting in new bundles and being like oh look what we got now you should check this out instead of adding in more stuff that we can unlock on our own like just by playing the game because at this point if they add in like two thirty dollar bundles you're basically buying the whole game again and I know that's not like news or anything where if you buy enough bundles, you're going to end up like passing the actual price of the game and 
you know, paying, you know, double or, or triple than the, the game's actual retail price just for some things that they can throw in. And I wouldn't mind it as much if we we're getting like more content, more things to do outside of just, you know, buy a new bundle and play with it for a little bit. And to be honest, a lot of the bundles aren't even that cool. I, I talked about this a bit on stream where we were like reminiscing on, I, I bring up Cold War a lot, but I think that's probably my favorite COD game to come out, you know, in recent history. But Cold War bundles were at least like solid as hell. You would get like a Mastercraft weapon where it had its own unique animations, its own unique look. It would come with like a cool operator and it was cheaper than some of the bundles that we're seeing in this game. Like if they added some sort of like Mastercraft type thing to this game, I'd probably be way more likely to be getting some of these bundles. So if I could get a gun that I already like using and then have like a really cool skin for it, I'd be all over it. Also, that was disgusting. They all just lined up for headshots. And this gun's kind of busted. I, I didn't use the Cronin Squall a whole lot because I just, you know, hopped on. I don't really use battle rifles. And I was just trying to get camos for it. And obviously there's the camo bug. But now that I'm actually just messing around with it, it's pretty good. That's like our second advanced UAV of this game. Normally I'm getting like one or two kills and just dying. But this thing tears. Like this is a, a really good gun. It helps that these people are also distracted by trying to shoot down a heli. And I really wish I had scavenger on this class because I'm running low on ammo and I'm actually on a decent streak. Oh my Lanta! Does any teammates have a munition box, please? Yeah, I'm on a 20 kill streak. When does this happen? Oh, and there it goes. Okay, I need to change this up because if there's any chance I get a nuke, it's now. I'm just going stupid and I can't wait for my next like eight games after this to be me being punished going against like pros and that's another advance holy shit yeah I was just kind of playing for like a little background footage while I talk about the update but I'm actually going dummy oh I had to say something the second I start jerking myself off about it I die and I guess one more thing coming to season three but we all basically knew it already we're getting like the tech nine and the full auto deagle the tech nine i'm pretty excited for uh we we're talking about this before on stream but i don't know exactly what weapon class is going to be because we've seen it as like an smg we've seen it as an ar i guess not an ar we've seen it as an smg and a pistol is the two things and i think it's probably going to be an smg just for balance reasons because it would be broken if you could have like a weapon like this as your primary and then you switch to like a full auto tech nine as your secondary because they do have like the x13 which is a good pistol but the tech nine has been pretty fierce you know at least back in like cold war it was like one of the better weapons and we were dominant that game 63 kills in 47 confirms and kill confirmed this gun's busted and if you're curious on my cronin squall class i got this from hero on youtube so go check them out uh i'll show the tunings real quick on everything as well but uh i did not make this myself this is all uh hero so shout out to him and this grip is supposed to be this one but it's busted and i can't equip it for whatever reason okay so while i'm waiting for the game to launch i've been scrolling through uh the little article that cod put out and apparently the tech nine is actually going to be a full auto pistol it says although it cannot be a true substitute to a primary smg the fast firing secondary is a boon to in close quarter situations and can push the limits of sidearms range I don't know what Boone means. Well, that's kind of crazy that it's going to be a pistol. I was expecting an SMG. And it says you need to get 50 sidearm hip fire operator kills using handguns or buy it from the store. And then for the fully automatic deagle, I actually don't know how that's going to work. I have not used a full auto deagle in like years in a COD game. And then to get that, you need 30 headshot operator kills while using the 0.50 GS, which is the deag the OG deeg. And then while I was scrolling through there, I also saw that the Gulag kit is uh, something that you can buy from the buy station that gives you another shot at the Gulag if you've already like been there and gotten out. Because normally you only get one Gulag per game, unless it's like some limited time mode or whatever. So if you end up going to the Gulag winning, you can go and buy another Gulag kit. So if you die again, you can go and fight your way out of the Gulag, which is a cool concept, but I think it's going to make games last a lot longer. I don't know. I don't play Warzone, so I can't really talk too much on a lot of these changes. But hopefully it's changes for the better. Oh, wait a second. So I'm already seeing a little uh, issue with the, the current update. It's only letting me collect six tokens where in the previous games it was letting me collect 12 and this is all in the the shoot the shoot house 24 7 playlist there was a quick little playlist update a second ago maybe that was fixing it maybe you weren't supposed to be getting 12 from it but that's lame especially since you have to play out the full game to even get your trophies and since hardpoint is such a, a longer game mode this is kind of dumb 
I hope it's not just for hardpoint. Damn, not everyone's using the Cronin Squall. You play one game with it and you play well, and it pairs you with every other person that just had the same exact game. This SBMM's crazy. Ooh, my throwing knives are on one today. And that's game. We definitely did not do anywhere near as good as we did last time, but that's just how SBMM works. Anyways, they just dropped all the season three news. Figured I'd go over them with you guys, you know, leave you guys my thoughts on it. But uh, what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for season three? Do you think these are some good changes or do you want more from it still? But that's where I'm gonna end the video. Truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.